One for the money and two for the win. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on the sports update presented by Toyota. Darren Williams had one shot to keep the Jazz alive in its series with the Lakers and the two points did just that. Utah with an 88-86 victory to take game three at home. Williams saved his best for last with the winning shot, just his third bucket of the night, coming with just 2.2 seconds remaining. Carlos Boozer, on the other hand, totally different story. 23 points while tying a Jazz postseason record, 22 rebounds. Utah also held Kobe Bryant to just 5 of 24 from the floor, and instead of facing an 0-3 hole, the 8 seeded Jazz with a chance to tie the series at home on Saturday. The Mavericks also with a Game 3 home win, but the result not nearly as surprising as the mode of execution. Dallas allowing San Antonio to score just 67 points, a franchise playoff low. The Spurs shot so poorly, Coach Bre Greg Popovich pulled most of the starters midway through the third, never to return. San Antonio has now lost eight of its last nine road playoff games. The two back at it tomorrow in Dallas. Dominating performance in Chicago as well, but not by the home team, rather the defending champions. Boston with a 21 point victory after games one and two were decided by two and three points respectively. The Celtics now with a 2-1 series lead thanks to Rajon Rondo's all around performance again after a triple double. This time 20 points, 11 boards, six assists and five steals and all that on a bad ankle. As for tonight, three games on the docket. Check out the NBA Friday night preview video with Ken Berger. Meanwhile, tomorrow's NFL draft should bring many trades involving picks as well as players, but the Falcons didn't wait to address one of their major needs. Trading Thursday for 33-year-old tight end Tony Gonzalez. In return, the Chiefs will receive Atlanta's second round pick next year. The 10-time Pro Bowler, the only tight end to make that many appearances, as well as holding the NFL's records for tight ends and receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. And like Gonzalez, Marty Brodeur, a surefire Hall of Famer, holds the NHL's record for most career wins in his performance Thursday night of legendary proportions. New Jersey's netminder overcame a first period skate cut to stop 44 shots in a 1-0 Devils win over the Hurricanes. The victory, Brodeur's 23rd career postseason shutout, tying Patrick Waugh for most all time and giving New Jersey a 3-2 series lead. Now that just 48 hours after Brodeur showed rare emotion, slamming his stick into the boards after giving up the game winner with 0.2 seconds remaining. 3-2 also the series in the battle for the Keystone State. Philly with a 3-0 shutout in Pittsburgh to stay alive in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Meanwhile in the West, the two seed has moved on. Detroit like third seeded Vancouver with a sweep while the top seed one game away from being ousted. Anaheim's 4-0 shutout of San Jose in game four giving the Ducks a 3-1 series advantage. Alright, time for the Wits hits and both North Carolina guards Wayne Ellington and Ty Lawson declared Thursday for for the NBA draft and both have to stay in after using their one time options last season to come back. Davidson Stephen Curry Thursday also announcing his choice to go pro. Curry led all Division One scores this past season and Florida State appealing the NCAA's decision to forfeit games saying it was too harsh. Of course, all this stemming from a cheating scandal, but the school saying it is unfair to penalize football coach Bobby Bowden as part of the sanctions. Now, nine other sports were penalized as well, but as for Bowden, 382 career wins, one shy of Joe Paterno's ongoing major college mark for most all time. So that'll do it for the sports update presented by Toyota for Friday, April 24th. Enjoy the night in sports. NFL Draft tomorrow and Sunday. Get all your coverage right here on CBSSports.com and get some preview videos with Phil Sims as well. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.